mark off where your waist is on your tunic with a couple of pins and then get yourself some black bias tape you just want to fold the ends under and then you're just going to hand sew that in place on either end you're going to use that to make a belt loop just like that you want to make sure that the loop is wide enough for the belt to fit through and then you make a similar loop on the other side so then draw yourself a circle on a piece of cardboard and cut that out all the way around. And then take an X-Acto knife and cut another circle on the inside a quarter of an inch from the outside so you end up with a circle, a hollow circle like that. So then draw yourself the Star Trek um, insignia. If you can't draw this freehand, just Google a picture of it and trace it onto a piece of cardboard. And then on the inside you put the little symbol that was used as the um, command symbol in the original series. You'll want to cut out the symbol first. Otherwise it'll be too weak to cut out the rest. So cut out the symbol first. And then you'll cut out around the outside. And then you're just going to hot glue the insignia onto the circle. Then just give the whole thing a coating of gold, metallic gold paint. And to use the belt, you're going to get yourself just an old belt, and you're going to actually fasten this inside out. Otherwise, you'll see too much of the buckle on the outside, so you'll be doing it inside out. So on the bottom side of the belt, just hot glue on your little circle, just like that. And then you won't see the other buckle because you'll be fastening the belt inside out. So then just cut a strip of Pellon. You're just going to hot glue some black material around that. You want your strip long enough to go around the wrist of your tunic. And then you'll cut another strip of Pellon a little thinner than the one that you covered in black. And you'll just cover that one in some white fabric. And then you're just going to glue the white strip on top of the black strip, making sure that the smooth sides are up. And so then the little designs on the wristbands will vary depending on which character you're doing. Um, but so I just poked a hole and used one of those gold paper fasteners to use as the gold metallic dots. And then I did another one and put another paper fastener through the hole. Again, this will all depend on which character you're going as. Um, I tried to base this on Spock's, but it's probably not actually right because I can never get a good shot of his wrists. Um, so then I just cut a few pieces of small craft foam and laid them out kind of how I thought they should go. Then hot glued those in place. And then I poked one more hole and added one more gold fastener. And that is my cat, whose name is conveniently Spock. So then just give the little pieces of foam a coating of gold paint, metallic gold paint. You want to do both the tops and the sides of these all the way down to the white material. Just make sure not to get any gold paint on the white material. But cover them completely in the gold paint, just like that. And then you'll just hot glue that around the left sleeve of your tunic. So there it is all hot glued. And there was also a little bit of gold along the edges of the black part, um, kind of the way there was around the piece that fastens the tunic, but I glued mine on without putting the gold on, and so I'm not going to try to put it on now, but if you think of it, put the gold on the sleeves first. So then I just cut another piece, like the one on the fastener over the shoulder, out of some thin black craft foam. And so then just give it a coating of gold paint, and again this all depends on which character you're going as. So then I just took a little bit of the excess from the pockets of the material, the red material. I'm just going to hot glue the edges under a quarter of an inch all the way around like that. And then on the smooth side, just hot glue my little gold symbol. And then just hot glue the whole thing right above the wristband. Live long and prosper.